Welcome to this Latin American Perspectives podcast. I'm Armando Alvarez, Outreach Coordinator at Latin American Perspectives. Today I am speaking with Dolores Paris Pombo, guest editor of the May 2014 issue entitled Indigenous Migration in Mexico and Central America in the Footsteps of Michael Kearney. Hi, how are you, Dolores? Thank you for being with us. Uh, very good, thank you. I'd like to go ahead and get started and ask you some questions in regards to this special issue of Latin American Perspectives so that we can go ahead and give some idea to our listeners out there of what this issue is about. I'm going to go ahead and start with asking you the first question, which is, can you just share with our listeners what is the focus of this issue of Latin American Perspectives? Uh, well, this issue of Latin American Perspectives is on indigenous migrations from Mexico and Central America to the U.S. Most of the articles focus on identity transformations new forms of resistance of indigenous workers in the global economy and inter-ethnic relations in the receiving regions. It is important to say that the issue is dedicated to Michael Kearney for his important contribution to the study of indigenous migrations in Latin America. Michael Kearney was, as you know, an anthropologist who worked for decades on Oaxacan mixtec migrations and also worked on the side of mixtec organizers and had a very important impact on the mixtec struggle, developing organiz organizing strategies with the Frente Indígena de Organizaciones Binacionales, Indigenous Front of Binational Organizations. And, you know, in the title it says that you're focusing on Mexico and Central America. Is there a difference between indigenous migration in Mexico and indigenous migration in Central America? And if so, what are the principal issues of difference? Well, in fact, there are some national differences, but most of the differences are between uh, different indigenous people, even from Mexico. Uh, as you know, there are many indigenous peoples in Mexico, more than 56 indigenous people. The national differences are that in Central America, most migrations were prompted by the wars uh, in the region in the 80s. And so we have uh, from the beginning a family and community migration with women, children, or old and young people. On the opposite, in Mexico, we, the first flows of indigenous migrations were mostly men but there are very many differences. Migration varies in intensity and form, not only by ethnicity, but also by region, by gender, by generation. I'd like to know, and if you can share with our listeners, what was the main reason for developing such an issue on indigenous migration? There was a peak in uh, the study and the research on indigenous migrations that was at the end of the 80s. Indigenous migration from Latin America is a multi-ethnic phenomenon that it's much older than mestizo migration. So we could speak of indigenous migration since the beginning of the 20th century and even before. But in the 80s, international indigenous migration increased and became more permanent in California and in other regions of the United States. And these migrations to the U.S. were mostly men coming from southern Mexico and uh, Guatemalan families flying the, the war. But in the last two decades, in the 90s and the 2000s, there is an important process of family reunification and the, the consolidation of migration networks has led to thousands of immigrants to settle in the United States and other new migrants are undertaking the undocumented journey to the north. We have now uh, many new themes in uh, international indigenous migration. We are seeing the emergence of young indigenous uh, migrants, generational change, and uh, uh, they are often sons of migrants born or raised in the United States. We are also witnessing new forms of organizations 
and governance in transnational communities and uh, the challenges of transnationalism to local government structures in uh, Mexico and in Central America. And these are some of the themes focused in this issue of Latin American perspectives. Thank you, Dolores, and thank you for sharing your research with us. And again, for all of our listeners out there, the May 2014 issue of Latin American Perspectives titled Indigenous Migration in Mexico and Central America in the Footsteps of Michael Kearney can be found online at lap.sagepub.com. Additionally, feel free to check out the Latin American Perspectives Facebook page at facebook.com slash lapjournal. Thanks for listening and until next time. Thank you.